Today, I will be comparing five radios in one video, something that no other YouTuber has successfully achieved. Many have tried, but all have resulted in the tragic boredom-related deaths of many viewers. I will be doing a brief overview and comparison of all five radios. I'm not gonna get deeply into the specs of each radio because that would increase the risk of boredom-related deaths. If you realize that you have died of boredom while watching this video, please wait till the very end and then ask a loved one to move your body away from the keyboard and let us know by leaving a comment. So with each of these five radios, I will compare most of the features, the usability, and who would or would not want each one of these radios. That way you can decide which radio is best for you and your active GMRS lifestyle. All of the five radios that I will be reviewing today are GMRS radios. You do need a GMRS license to transmit on any of these radios. If you're just listening, no license is required. If you do not yet have your GMRS license, why not? There is no test. You just pay the FCC for the right to use our free and open airwaves. And then after you give them a bunch of money, they email the license information to you or a step-by-step -step guide through the dumpster fire that is the FCC website. Click that link right there. Now, all of the five radios that I'll be reviewing today are very, very similar. There is no significant difference in far's ability between any of these radios. All of these radios are repeater capable, all support split tones, they're all wideband radios, all are capable of having multiple repeaters on the same frequency with different tones, and all are manufactured by Wuxin Ocean. All five of these radios are better quality and at least one or two steps up from the cheaper $30 to $50 radios. And even though all five of these radios are manufactured in China, all of them are sold exclusively and only in the United States by small businesses. The manuals for all five of these radios are written in the United States and all customer support for returns or problems or issues or whatever is handled by actual human beings in the United States that speak actual real English and they care about their customers. The first radio that I will be reviewing, I don't actually have yet. It is the Wuxin Ocean. These are all Wuxin Ocean radios, KG916. It is not yet available, but it will be very, very soon. As I said, I don't actually have one, but through the miracle of copy and paste and the advanced CGI technology included in the Windows Movie Maker software, you would not even know that I don't actually have one. Now, as I said, I do not actually have a KG916. It will be available very, very soon. So I'll just quickly go over the details since I haven't yet had a chance to play with one. It will look like this. It outputs four watts, but you're not gonna notice any difference in FARs compared to a five watt radio. If anything, the battery is gonna last longer. It has a 2600 milliamp hour battery. It stores 400 channels for receiving only, and it will come pre-programmed with all the shit hit the fan frequencies. It will have a super bright flashlight. It will be IP55 rated, so that means it's resistant against dust and light splashes. And it has a receiving range of UHF only from 400 to 480 megahertz. So who would want the new, as yet unavailable, KG916 radio? Pretty much any radio dork, but it's really marketed toward preppers for shit hit the fan use. But it's not quite as expensive as some of the other shit hit the fan type radios. Now we're getting to the radios that I actually have. The first one is the Wuxin. Ocean KG805G. The KG805G costs $99 and is available at buytwayradios.com. Affiliate link below. The KG805G is the most simple of the radios. It has limited menus. You can't program a lot on the radio itself. It's very basic, but it does do all of the GMRS radio stuff right out of the box. It's got the very simple interface. It is not intimidating in any way. It is a super heterodyne receiver, which means it's a better quality receiver. It has a slightly small screen. It comes with a 1700 milliamp hour battery. It has 128 channels for receiving only. 
and it's IP55 rated against light water splashes and dust. On and off switch, channel changing, knob, standard SMA, male type antenna connector, push to talk, two programmable buttons, standard K1 type plug for a programming cable or an external microphone or headset. It does have the smart charger so that the battery won't overheat and it will probably end up lasting longer. It is a 1700 milliamp hour battery. So who is the Wuxin Ocean KG805G radio made for? Anybody that wants a good quality, relatively inexpensive radio, maybe a beginner in the GMRS world. It's also very good to loan out to people. If you're out adventuring, hand it to somebody that's never used a radio before. It's not intimidating with a bunch of buttons. And it's difficult for them to screw it up. Next on the list is the KG905G. The KG905G costs $120 and is available at buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate link below. The KG905G also has a very simple interface, but it has a full set of menus and options so you can do more programming on the radio itself than you can do with the KG805G, but it's still a pain in the bitch to program because it doesn't have a keypad. I failed to mention that the KG805G, I've gone back now, this is the 805G, is fully programmable using the software. You have to buy the optional cable and the software is free. The screen on the KG905 is slightly larger than the screen on the KG805G and displays a little bit more information. It has tighter knobs, which means it's more difficult to accidentally bump them or turn the radio off or change the channel while you're out adventuring. As a transmit and receive light, the KG805G also has a transmit and receive light, standard SMA male antenna connector, push to talk, two programmable buttons, standard K type connector hidden underneath this tightly sealed trap door. That tightly sealed trap door is because this radio is IP66 rated, which means it's almost fully waterproof. The battery is 2,600 milliamp hours. The radio can store 256 channels for receiving only, and it receives in the UHF band only 400 to 480 megahertz. It can also do tone scanning to identify CTCS and DCS tones over the air. So who would want a KG905G? It is a slight step up from the KG805G. It has quite a few more features, but still not very complicated or intimidating. The next radio on the list is the KG935G, $140. Affiliate link below. Now the KG935G is my favorite radio. The other day I did a video showing how durable it is. And as you can see, it sustained a little bit of damage, but it still works. To see what kind of abuse I put this radio through to make it look like this, you can watch that video right there. It is a very tough radio, but with just a little bit of wiping and rubbing, it cleans right up. Now, as you can see, the screen on the KG935G is slightly larger than on the 905G or the 805G. The screen is also full color and themable. So you can customize the screen far more than you can on either of the other two radios. The knobs are also very tight, so it's difficult to accidentally turn it off or change a channel. Standard SMA male type antenna connector, flashlight, transmit and receive light, push to talk button, two programmable function buttons. The KG935G is also IP66 rated, so the standard K-type connector, which is underneath this watertight trap door, that's there for the waterproofedness, but it has a standard K-type connector, just like the others. 3200 milliamp hour battery, so it lasts quite a bit longer than the other two radios. And another nice thing is that the batteries between the 905G and the 935G, even though they're different sizes, 3200 amp hour versus uh, whatever I said the 905G was that comes with it, they are interchangeable. As I mentioned, the screen is much larger, 
but it is a little bit more busy. It is a little bit more complicated. It has the full keypad, so you can program everything by hand. No need to use any software, although it is all easier to program using the software. KG805G, KG905G are both super heterodyne receivers. The KG935 is not a super heterodyne receiver. It is a high quality SOC radio. And honestly, I have not been able to tell much difference, but in general, the super heterodyne receivers are gonna be more sensitive than an SOC receiver. The antenna that comes with the 935G is larger than what comes with the other radios because it is a dual band antenna. And that is because it receives a wider range of frequencies. It has 999 channels that you can store for receiving and it's able to receive VHF, which is 136 to 174 megahertz, UHF, which is the only thing that these two radios receive, NOAA, and also FM radio. It also does tone scanning for CTCS and DCS tones over the air. So who would want a KG935G? Any true radio dork, any real GMRS user that wants a full GMRS radio that does pretty much everything. If that sounds like you, then the KG935 may be right for you. And finally, the KG UV9G Pro. KG UV9G Pro costs $179 from bettersaferadio.com. Affiliate link below. And this radio does pretty much everything. I have the, this is not the stock antenna, I have the Smiley stubby antenna not because it works any better necessarily but because it's smaller and it ends up in my eyeball less 20 bucks affiliate link below the kg uv9g pro does not have the stiffer knobs that you would expect it's looser so if you're out adventuring i think it's easier to turn the volume up or down or change a channel but it does have this small guard here that helps protect the knobs to help reduce that risk now the KG UV9G Pro does it all, but at the cost of being slightly more complicated and costing the most out of all of the radios. It is also a super heterodyne receiver and it can receive two channels at once. That means it can listen to two frequencies at the same time. I failed to mention that the KG 935G can also listen to two frequencies at once. As you can see, it's set right now to listen to two separate emergency fire service frequencies. It also has a 3200 milliamp hour battery, but it is not compatible with any of the other radios. It, you cannot switch it out or change it out. It also has a large color screen, although it's more of a this way large than a this way large. It is color, but it's not customizable in the same way that the KG935G is customizable. It's not themable. Volume and channel changing knob on the top, flashlight, transmit and receive. Another difference with the KG UV9G Pro is that the antenna connector is different and opposite from all the others. All the others use an SMA male type connector. The UV9G Pro has a female type connector. Push to talk button and three programmable buttons. It takes a standard K1 type programming cable or a connector for external microphone and speaker. It has a trap door, but you don't need a screwdriver to open this one. It is IP55 rated, so it doesn't have quite the waterproofity as the 935G. It can store 999 channels for receiving, just like the KG935. However, one thing that sets it apart, and this is one of the reasons why the preppers like it so much, is that it comes pre-programmed with over 800 shit hit the fan, government, emergency frequencies, all kinds of frequencies pre-programmed in the radio. None of the other radios come pre-programmed with frequencies other than the standard GMRS frequencies. And this one comes chock full of all kinds of frequencies for listening and receiving only. Another big difference with the UV9G Pro is that it can receive a much wider range of frequencies than any of the other radios. Standard commercial FM, NOAA, UHF, VHF, AM airband, 350 megahertz to 512 megahertz, and 700 through 960 megahertz. Way more than any of these other radios. Yet another reason why preppers and shit hit the fanners 
go for the KG UV9G Pro sometimes more than the other radios. It also does tone scanning for DCS and CTCSS tones over the air. Who would want the KG UV9G Pro? Any radio dork or real GMRS user would be happy to have this radio, as well as a shit hit the fanner or prepper who wants to be able to, or anybody that wants to listen to and scan through a much higher range of frequencies as opposed to these other radios, but doesn't want to buy a dedicated scanner. This radio scans almost everything. So there you have it, a quick overview and comparison of all the popular Wuxin Ocean GMRS radios, including one that isn't even available yet. If you have any questions about any of these radios, leave a comment below. If you died of boredom while watching this video, please ask a loved one to leave a comment and let us know. Dickhead comments, off topic comments or questions, comments answering questions that nobody asked, especially the ones that are 10 paragraphs long, comments restating everything that I've just said will all be deleted or better yet pinned to the top for everyone to make fun of. Don't be a dickhead.